I've come all the way to Saitama in Japan, and who is it? It's the man himself, Diddy hey. the Devil. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Saitama, here. Good. Saitama, good deal, <laughs> yeah, Saitama. He's yeah. still the same. That's good. Yeah, that looks good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> Now, I was lucky enough to be invited to Japan for the sixth edition of the Saitama Criterion. What is it, though? Well, it's an event organised by the Amory Sports Organisation, who also organise events such as the Tour de France, the Vuelta Espana, Paris-Roubaix, and many more. This event is actually called the Le Tour de France Saitama Criterion, and it's to celebrate and showcase some of the biggest names in the cycling world by having them race in front of the passionate Japanese crowd, and at the same time, immerse them in Japanese cultural experiences over an action-packed couple of days. Now, the atmosphere here in Saitama is absolutely buzzing. There's loads of people around already, and it's only nine o'clock in the morning, which kind of surprises me, really, because well, in the UK, most people will probably still be in bed, let's face it. However, the race organisers have organised a heap of different events as well to entertain people's time, including, get this, a French market, Japanese style. So just over my shoulder, I've got Alberto Contador on the stage here in Saitama. Now, he's not making a comeback just yet, or well, I don't know if he is going to at all in the future, but he is in fact giving his opinion on next year's Tour de France route. And well, a two-time winner of the Tour de France, he certainly knows a thing or two about it. So he has got a massive following here, a massive fan base in Japan. There's people here with flags, banners, all sorts to celebrate him returning to Saitama. It's absolutely wonderful to see. I'm trying to keep my voice down because everyone's listening intently to what he's got to say. It's great. So it's now time for the team presentation, and this is absolutely fantastic. The crowd, some of them have been waiting here since the early hours of this morning. When I went out for a quick run, I did in fact see people making sure that they could have the first rung of the barrier to make sure they could see their stars because this is one of the only times of the year, in fact, it is the only time of the year, when the actual public can get to see the World Tour riders up close and personal like they can right now. And, well, wait until you hear some of the cheers that these riders get when they appear on stage. It's absolutely wild. They love cycling here. It's fantastic. So whilst walking around this French-Japanese market type thing, I've got Marcel Kittle just over there eating himself a bowl of noodles, uh, presumably uh, carbo-loading for tomorrow's race. I don't know, but he looks to be getting stuck in and enjoying himself. I might go and see if he's got any spare for me in a minute, because I'm a little bit peckish myself. I've just been accosted by some gents. I don't really know what I've got to do. I've got to go and sit next to him, so I'm going to do that. OK. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. It's like a game. It's like tennis. Okay. It's, it's starting to grow a bit. I'm just copying what he's doing. But they grabbed me. They pulled me in here, and I thought I've got to do it. Oh look, look, look. Oh look at this. It's like a cracker of some sort. Oh, he's not letting me have a go anymore. I don't think he trusted me. Yeah, okay, I'll do it again. Okay. There we are. I'm sort of doing it wrong, I think. Oh no, I've burnt it. <laughs> yeah. A little, okay, a little, a little. This okay? Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh no! That's okay. <laughs> One more. Oh no! I can't believe I did that after all that. There are so many different events going on for the riders to take part in here. Uh, just looking at the media schedule for them, they are literally here, there, everywhere, and it all runs absolutely like clockwork. And the riders are being mobbed almost, but in a really, really, really polite way. I've never seen anything like it at a sporting event. 
it's silent almost to the fact where all you can hear is just footsteps and then the riders stop and give some autographs and carry on. It's fantastic. I never realised that Japanese fans were quite so passionate about cycling. Now the type of events that riders have been taking part in are absolutely wild and wacky. For instance, right now there's riders about to go on stage and learn how to bang some traditional Japanese drums, as well as learning how to throw a baseball with a famous Japanese baseball player, getting kids to ride bikes, as well as visiting children in a local Red Cross hospital. So it's race day here in Saitama and it's eight o'clock in the morning, so the sun hasn't come through quite yet, but the crowds here, well, they've been packing out for hours on end. When I was up at six o'clock this morning, I saw them laying down their towels, actually, at the side of the road and chairs and such like, so they can reserve their spot at the side. It's super exciting. The buzz here is absolutely out of this world, just over there behind my good cameraman. I'm, well, yeah, I'm speechless. I'm so excited for it. So whilst on the other side of the road, we've got the French village market set up. Over here, we've got a cycling village set up, which has everything available. So here I've got myself a, a fan souvenir card and a bag involving some sweets and stuff like that. But also there's a huge variety of different cycling vendors here selling sort of cut price end of season deals on clothing, as well as events. I've just actually been invited to the tour of Japan for next year. So uh, hopefully I can be sent there as well, because this is absolutely great. Uh, also, there's things involving children, so there's children's activation projects on cycling, and yesterday I saw Geraint Thomas and Alberto Contador having a little race against some kids around there too. And how many times a year do you get to race in Japan? I think uh, only this period, like uh, uh, October. So not national championships? or uh, Maybe I, I will try, because not I did uh, every year, so, okay. so maybe I, I do next year because for the Olympic Games, for the selection, it's yeah. an important race for me. Yeah. yeah. And the crowd here, I've got to say, they're absolutely incredible, aren't they? The crowds, they're, they're huge. Yeah. And they know every rider and everything about them. And in Japan, it's huge because <laughs> people know the his rider's history yeah. and the family situation. Our Japanese uh, mentality, yeah. that's really kindness and respect for the pe uh, yeah. people. That's uh, amazing. The teams have just arrived and behind me, quite loudly in the background on the stage, we've got a couple of presenters who are in fact going to present the teams for the team presentation. And then the riders are going to have to race a sprint qualifying race. Now, I'm a little bit worried here because a few of the riders last night were actually out at a Japanese game show that I was lucky enough to be at too. And it was quite a late evening and they were getting them to do some quite weird and wonderful things on stage. But I'm ultra excited to see exactly how they're going to get on in that sprint qualification. So just over my shoulder, the riders are being introduced ready for the sprint qualification here. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, we've got a guy who's riding around on an electric type derny bike. Uh, it's got a big Yamaha engine on it, if you're really interested. And it's got a tiny sprocket at the rear and a massive chain ring. Now he's pacing the riders around the three kilometer circuit for about two and a half thousand meters before pulling off. And then it's really a game of cat and mouse between the four riders in each heat to sprint to the Line. Let's see how they get on. So the start of the sprint final is about to begin. Well, there goes the Derny pacer behind me. Uh, now, the final includes Marcel Kittel, Alexander Kristoff, as well as Beppu himself from Japan, and also a local rider as well from Nippon Fantini. So we're going to see exactly how it pans out. Could there be an upset for the World Tour guys? Who knows? I'm excited, though. And they're off in three kilometers. We will know who is the sprint champion this year at Saitama. Go on, lads, get stuck in. There we are, Kittel over Kristoff.
it is deadly silent here. I've never been at a bike race where it's quite so quiet. Um, now the race is actually about to start and as you can see, the front of the race is lined up with Geraint Thomas and Alejandro Valverde. Well, they've got 20 laps of a three kilometre circuit. Who's your money on? Currently one rider out ahead on his own. He's actually got a light fitted to his bike. Uh, I don't think he realizes that the race isn't gonna be an all-nighter. Well, maybe it's just for the just for the crowds. But he's got a light on the front and rear, but well, the World Tour boys behind. I don't think they're gonna let him stick out there for long. So a lap later, it's all back together. And as you can see, they're in full sprint mode here because there are some points on the line. We've got Alexander Kristoff up against Marcel Kittel. And well, a close one. I couldn't actually see who got it, but there are in fact a few raindrops in the air now. And with this tight, twisty city center circuit, that could be treacherous. Just two laps to go, and well, in the front group, we've got Alejandro Valverde and Geraint Thomas, and it's between four or five riders there who are actually gonna be battling it out for the win. I'm super interested to see who's gonna win the battle of that lot in a sprint, because there's no pure sprinter in there. Right, and the race has just finished, and with a two-up sprint between Geraint Thomas and Alejandro Valverde, I was really surprised, actually, that a wily track rider such as Geraint Thomas, okay, I know he's not been on the track for a while now, but he decided to actually lead it out from the bottom corner, which was a surprise, like I say, but Valverde, he put them away in the sprint, but what a finish to that race. I really hope you've enjoyed this look around the Saitama Criterium. To be honest, I had no idea what to expect when we arrived here in Japan, because I've never been here before. And I didn't really know about the cycling culture when it came to racing, but I have been really pleasantly surprised by the way that all the fans know everything about every single rider there appears to be here. And just look at the reaction that's going on behind me as Marcel Kittel walks by. Now, do remember as well to let me know what you think about this video down there in the comments section below. And as ever, like and share this video with your friends too. But don't forget, check out the GCN shop. Head on over to shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com where we have a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And now for another great video, click just over here. And I'm gonna go and meet these really lovely fans.